So, I've seen a few different people asking about how you flash firmware onto your Galaxy S3. Thought I'd do a quick video showing you how you do it because it really is quite simple. First of all, is to choose the firmware that you want. So for me, I go to sammobile.com slash firmware. Um, if I scroll down, it gives me all the latest firmwares and then for, for the S3, you're looking for i9300. So you see here is an Austrian one, a Swiss one. Here's one for the UK. It tells you what version it is, 4.1.1, which is what we want. It gives you the actual details of it there. So it's DLJ1. And I click there to download. Regular download. Wait 30 seconds. Now, I'm not actually going to bother waiting for 30 seconds because I do have um, the Polish ROM still on my computer here, which I'm going to flash on just to show you how it's done. So then you need Odin version 3.0.4. That's Odin. That's what you'd be looking at. This is what we use to flash stock firmware. So it's not custom, it's not rooted, it's just going to be straight up stock. Um, you want to make sure right repartition isn't ticked. That effectively will wipe your device. Also, I believe if you're doing that, you need a pit file. Yeah, there we go. So it even says there, repartition. And you need a pit file for that, which explains to Odin, I believe, um, how it's going to partition it. But we're not doing that. We auto reboot is fine. It's going to boot afterwards. Um, I'm not sure what our reset time is, but that's fine. Leave it ticks, not a problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the phone into download mode. So here's my device. Here we go. So I'm going to first of all I'm going to power it off. There we go. So it's turned itself off. No, actually you might unplug it for I can sometimes find it cause a bit of an issue when it's charging, you don't, you don't seem to get the right use of the keys. Right, so I wait for the power thing to go. So I'm going to hit volume down, the uh, home button and the power button all simultaneously, hopefully. And we get to this. A custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. If you want to be so volume up to continue, volume down to cancel, so volume up. Right, we're now in download mode. This is download mode. Volume down, home and power all together. Now I'm going to plug it back in. You see just behind it's installing device software. That's fine. Do make sure you've installed Kai's in advance just because that normally has the right drivers that you need. And we should see, see if I can just swing the camera around. We should see there, Samsung Mobile, USB, blah, 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 ready to use, ready to use. We look on here, IDCOM, we see it's on COM6, and I can see, I don't know if you can see too well, but it does say device added down there in the bottom left. Now, this is how simple it is. I'm going to click PDA. There's my MD5 file. If you download a zip, look inside the zip, you should have something that ends .tar.md5. In this instance, it's, I'm going to flash DLIB. So there are newer ones, and check SAM Mobile as I showed. Um, we're all ready to go. It's as simple as this. I'm going to click Start. This isn't going to wipe the device. It's simply going to put the latest, well, not the latest, <laughs> the, the Polish firmware on. So you can see in the bottom left corner, it gives you updates of what's happening. Checking the MD5, do not unplug the cable. Yeah, you definitely don't want to unplug the cable while it's flashing. So now you can see in the top left here, it says it's flashing the system files. You'll see like a progress bar. I think it flashes kind of time remaining in there from time to time. It keeps updated in the bottom left what it's doing as well. NAND right start. And if we swing down, if I can, there we go, that was a remaining 2 minutes 28. If we come back down here, you'll see the device has like a progress bar heading across the screen, which pretty much matches the one on your computer screen. Yeah, so it's struggling to focus, but I can tell you here it says custom binary download, no. So that's basically saying this is not custom, this is a stock, or at the moment the phone is a stock ROM. The bar is still progressing. 
as it is on the screen there. So we've got another minute and 30 to wait and then we're done. So we can see it's almost done now, it's flashing a few different bits far at the, sort of to finish off. The boot image, cache image, hidden image. Seven seconds to go. Flashing the radio finally. It says it's done. We'll look at the device itself. See the little Android fella. We can unplug it at this point, that's fine, I'm going to do that. It's now going to boot up. I'll take this opportunity to say, if you're coming from a custom ROM, it might not be quite this simple. Depends what custom ROM it is. If it's an AOKP ROM, like Sanagen Mod or something like that, you may have some difficulties. You also, this is booted straight into the home screen, you may find if you're upgrading the ROM in one form or another, you will get, you'll be sat on um, Android is updating apps or something like that and it'll clock through sort of maybe a hundred or so apps that it's rewriting you. I think probably David Cash is setting but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's, that's it basically. I've just flashed the firmware on my stock unrooted Galaxy S3. This doesn't affect your warranty in any way. I mean, I've got to be honest, I flashed custom ROMs on my first S3. It went wrong. I took it back. They replaced it with a new phone anyway. So um, so there we go. Simple as that. That took 3 minutes 56 to flash. Job done.